has been squabbles between the 36 state governors and the attorney general of the federation and minister of justice Bubaka Malami of late. The disagreement is due to the directive by Mr. Malami to the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, to pay some consultants a whopping sum of $418 million. The amount is allegedly owed the consultants for services rendered during negotiations for the Paris Club refund. First, what is the Paris Club? The Paris Club is an informal group of official creditors who find coordinated and sustainable solutions to payment difficulties experienced by debtor countries. It dates back to 1956 when Argentina agreed to meet its public creditors in Paris. Since 1956, the Paris Club has signed 433 agreements with 90 different countries covering over 583 US billion dollars with its framework. So how did Nigeria get involved in the Paris Fund? The Paris Club refund is a fallout of the debt relief package negotiated by the federal government in 2005. The club judged the federal government's economic refunds as far-reaching and focused, so much that it cancelled 60% of the country's $30 billion debt. Between 1995 and 2002, before the debt was rich enough, the federal government had agreement with state governments to deduct certain amounts from their federal allocation to service the debt. The federal government, however, made over deductions from state government's allocation in the process of paying the country's foreign debt to the Paris Club, hence the refund. In December 2016, the federal government eventually agreed to refund the state, but in three tranches. But the refund to state in the federation has not been that smooth. Why is the NGF on the edge? The frustration of the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, stems from the haste with which the country's Attorney General Malami is facilitating the payment. The governors are miffed that the case regarding the payment to consultants for their services is still pending before the Court of Appeal. The Forum believes the order by the AGF mandating the Ministry of Finance to pay such humongous funds was a clear case of abuse of court process which amounted to being subjudized. The, uh, the, the, the minutia of the entire situation around the Paris Club um, refunds is, um, is, is less important than sort of the larger picture in terms of how a, 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 you know, a clear subset of uh, Nigerian state governors are trying to redefine the fiscal relationship between the various levels of government. I think that's what's the, what's most important about this. So you've seen the manifestation of this effort on a number of fronts. You see the debate over you know, value-added tax and other consumption taxes. Um, you've seen the perennial conversation around how constitutional reform should uh, be geared towards entrenching um, a greater amount of fiscal devolution to um, the constituent unit and now the conversation around the Paris Club reforms right has become germane it's worth noting that this conversation has been going on in one shape or form for the last uh, you know, two to three administrations right uh, uh, passed on to Nigeria is more than almost two decades in, mm -hmm. in the making right the only reason why this has become a hot button political issue is because the governors right have um, with some justification um, sought to, to make the political case that the federal government um, has an omnipresence or a near omnipresence say in, in how the finances of this country um, is run to, to the detriment of, of the states and to a much lesser extent the local government. And it's within that context, right, that the, the entire back and forth between the Attorney General's office, the various state governors, and now increasingly what's playing out in the judicial system. As far as the country's 36 states are concerned, they do not believe that funds belonging to Federation accounts should be arbitrarily deducted without their impute. The head of the NGF and governor of Ekite State, 
Dr. Kayede Fayemi, in fact, insists that until all of the issues are clarified, the money should be left alone until an agreement is reached. On the other end, Malami is arguing that his intention to proceed with the payment was sequel to an agreement reached by the NGF, Association of Local Governments of Nigeria, the federal government, and the consultants involved in the negotiations of the Paris refund. So it's really about the legal mechanism which the Federation accounts right is run, and that's the crux of um, the the court case court cases right that are currently uh, before the federal high court in in Abuja. The Federation accounts as its most at its most elemental right, and this is me stripping out all all the legalese operates as a sort of joint account between the federal governments with all the 36 states as well as the 774 um, local governments. And the dominant rule for every joint account, obviously, is that you need the concurrence of a majority, if not all the parties, right, who are in a way signatories, right, in, in order for any sort of disbursements to be made. And it's on that strength that the um, the governments actually have, I mean, the various governors actually have um, a pretty solid um, argument. The conversation really is not necessarily around whether the consultant should be paid, it's the way and manner, really. And um, as long as the the case subsists, right, um, within the courts, I think the next hearing for it is right about the end of the year, I think the 31st is, is, is the last I saw, um, reporting on the issue, um, say. Um, We'll, we'll just have to we'll just have to to wait and see obviously anyone who worked on ensuring that you know debt relief and and then by extension the refunds um, and were secured um you know almost certainly entitled to and um, they are paid their contracts and legal agreements that enshrine um what compensation for those various consultants should be i think the real argument is about the way and manner and the speed at which you know they are being paid and there have been varying opinions regarding the matter. One argument is that the governors were ignorant of the Paris Club Fund's exact dues accruable to the state until the consultants carried out their due diligence. So it is only fair that the consultants get paid for their job. Another argument opines that if the governors think otherwise and say there was no agreement between all the parties involved, they should wait for the court to decide before any action is taken.